That didn't sound good. Mother, just back away slowly. Look at the ground. Don't make eye contact with it. I, I can't move. Damien, help me. It's the Lord of the Dead. That is the Dark Sultan's most powerful servant. But it now lives some sort of shadow. What has happened here? Damien, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I pushed you into this. Please forgive me. Just hold still, Mother. It is a fight you seek, you wretched servant of darkness. And face me. Leave the boy alone. Let us put those fangs to your last to your to, us to test. You may find you have bitten off more than you could chew. Odin, what are you doing here? Hey, Opie, that is Shadow Monster, isn't it? W wait a second, Opie. One wrong move, we're goners. What are you two? What's going on here? What is the meaning of this? This is my child to bear, not some carnival for your amusement. Lord Damien, we have come to serve you. Odin, these travelers certainly did not come here willingly, and they put themselves at great risk, too. We all ventured here of our own volition, my lord. But, but why? Why would you do that? Because we are your fr friends, my lord. I think I said that correctly. Damien, quickly, I'm feeling faint. I will finish this. Mother, gather yourselves quickly. I shall prove my worth as a dark soul. I will get you out of here alive. Wait until it's focused on me. Where's the doomsday? There has to be one around here somewhere. We have to find it. He, are you kidding me? You can't see what's right in front of you? That voice. Can't say I'm surprised. Looks like I'll have to bail you out again. Come on, big boy. Cough it up. The Doomstone? That beast must have eaten it. Okay, Opie. You know what to do. Smash that Doomstone to smithereens. Mother, go now. Quickly, my lady. We shall deal with this beast. Let me see this real quick. One second, guys. All right, we are back, and Damien joined your party. Let's fight, Shadowsaurus! Oh, jeez. Got it. Whew. Mother, are you all right? Yes, Damien. Thank you. I'm fine. Ah, run! 
Relax, Butterfly. This is the natural form of the Lord of the Dead. All is normal. Of course, I knew that. As you see, the Doomstone's capable will take a creature who is <clears throat> full of natural beauty and turning it into a dark, dangerous beast. Totally unlike this wonderful creature here. Ha! Oh, this is perfect size. Who are you? Identify yourself. Noelia, what are you doing here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I've just made a habit of following you when you're up to something. Naive little you, Elia. Someday you'll figure it all out. Until then, don't mind me. I just came to get my hands on this doomstone here. I said on this doomstone here. That's your cue, hero boy. Come on, step it. Don't, I don't have all day. Magnificus? Commencing doomstone retrieval. Shush, I'm not paying you to talk. I'm not paying you at all, in fact. <laughs> As you command, princess. This chump thinks I'm a princess. I don't even tell him that. <laughs> it's a pretty strong mind control spell. Duelia, what do you want with that stone? Oh, well, are we just little Miss Nosy Pants? I've got my reasons, don't you? Let's go, Goldie. Thanks for the laughs, kids. Toodles! Who is that girl? I'm sorry, Lord Damien. Her name is Noelia. What business does she have here? She has run off with the Doomstone. Yes, this is quite concerning. Mother, are you okay? No need to worry, Damien. I'm just a bit shaken up, that's all. Perhaps I underestimated the gravity of these stones. This may be necess necessitate further research, regardless. Since you have freed the Lord of the Dead, it is your command. I fear you will need his power. Although you still must seek final validation for the former Sultan, your father. Isn't Mr. Old Sultan, like, banished some banished place? How is Damien supposed to find him? Why am I even speaking to a butterfly who knows nothing of our ancient customs? Damien, you must prepare yourself to recite the oath that will free the former sultan. Oh, how long it has been since I've heard his dark brooding voice and just thinking about it makes me... Oh, it's all too much sometimes, Damien. I miss your father, so... Mother, please don't cry. I know what I have to do. We're so hard all lives to hide what is what we truly want. Are we happy being the person that such ever transforms us into? I apologize, my son. I know what came over me. I was weakened by our encounter. Let us be off to the trial chamber. I vow to do all this with my power, not for my sake, but rather for my mother's. Thank you too for your help. I wish I could help you further on your journey. We're coming with you, Damien. Well, let us go to Lord Damien. Behold, Damien. This statue was built to honor your father, the former Dark Sultan. That is one mean looking statue. I'm sensing something very powerful coming from within that thing. I'd stay a couple steps back if I were you. Now, Damien, recite the oath. Oh, of course, the oath. Let's see. Dark Sultan, don't hesitate, darling. Hurry up and express your utmost desire to rule. My utmost desire to rule, right. I actually can't remember the oath. My mind has gone blank. Don't worry, my lord. I shall help you. Odin, thanks, but I think I just need some more time. I, Damien Hellborn, hereby proclaim my rightful seat as Dark Sultan. I, Damien Hellborn, hereby claim my rightful seat as Dark Sultan. I vow to exact vengeance upon Castile in the name of my father, the former Dark Sultan. I vow to I vow to exact vengeance upon Castile. What is the matter, child? Finish it in the name of my father, the former Dark Sultan. In the name of my father, the former Dark Sultan. Heed my words, Dark Soul, and transfer thy dark spirit upon this stone visage. Heed my words, Dark Soul, and transfer thy dark spirit upon. Wait, what was that? Did you see that? Do not mock the ritual, Damien. You must finish. The statue just moved. Am I the only one who saw it? Don't be ridiculous, Damien. It's no such thing. I think I saw something too. Uh oh, I don't see how this could be good. Thou who seekest the throne. Th th that voice. My former lordship. How dare you just come in with your boomy voice after all this time without even a word to me? I've been a little busy being trapped in the statue, sweet pea. I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? Listen well, thou my son, who seekest thy throne us of the dark sultanest. <clears throat> I've always been terrible at talking like this. Look, Damien, I heard that we could choose for an oath, and it just, just doesn't sound like you want it. And that's fine, but I don't want you doing this unless you're certain it's what you want to do. You need not say anything, but I must validate their intentions are true. Let's discuss this further. The Dark Sultan seems like he'd really be a good therapist, don't you think? Josh Butterfly. I sense great reluctance in your heart regarding the declaration of vengeance upon Castile. I am greatly interested in why that is. 
Come, my son, you can tell me anything. I'm a statue of your father. This is what this is. This isn't a part of the trial. You're just trying to confuse me. Silence, child. Now tell me what truly is in your heart if you can successfully convey these emotions to a statue. You shall earn the official titan of dark, title of Dark Sultan, ruler of Almagy. What is this Damien's heart you mean? Opiates does it little, but I apologize on behalf of Almajik for our aggression toward Castile. Our lands should not be fighting each other, but I see no way out of this. I will take time for such epic wounds to heal, my lord. It's not as simple as repairing a broken statue. Yeah, it seems their egos are much more brittle and fussy than statues. What do you think, Damien? I think Odin here has shown me the way to express what is truly in my heart. Ha! I was hoping you'd say that. Given all that has transpired, I dare say that to convey what I truly wish. I do not believe my heart would be sufficient. It will take my heart, my head, and the totality of my powers as well as you, Opie. I wish to end this silly feud between the kingdoms. Will you help me do this? Of course. That's the spirit, Opie. You have my thanks, Opie. Now, shall we? There's treasure back here. Thack gold. Sack of gold. Is that what I was supposed to do? No, no, what have you done? He, he's, he's gone. He's truly gone forever. Oh man, that's gonna leave a mark. Well done, Damien. Your courage to act your true words before the altar freed me from my prison. You have proved the power of your heart to be a strong and true dark sultan. Why is everyone just staring? Oh, my legs. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Those should come back soon. Do you mean to tell me you were just hiding inside this stupid statue all this time? I wouldn't call it hiding, my little kumquat. It's not like I put myself there willingly. Look, can we please not fight in front of the boy? I'm tired. I just got out of my mystical imprisonment. I cannot believe you've been alive this entire time. Can't we just be happy about something for one second before we overanalyze the entire situation? Yeeks, looks like the former Sultan might want to see about getting in prison again. No, my little flapping friend, I wouldn't wish that sort of thing upon my worst enemy. Well, maybe King Eric, just so he could get a taste of how it feels. Look for him, I've had a lot of time to think. You'd be surprised how being a statue changes your view. I advise the vendetta against Castillo's people be erased, Doc Sultan. You may do as you wish, but that is my counsel. Now, if you don't mind my saying so, I just really want to get out of this nasty chamber. I hope I remember how to do this. Everyone to the oasis. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, wow, this is pretty. Whoa, that was amazing. You teach us how to do that? This is the spirit of the oasis. But I thought only the Dark Sultan could ever set foot here. You are indeed wished beyond your years, young Dark Sultan. But today is a special day, so why not set aside that rule for a bit? Daddy still holds some sway here. Ah, your former Dark Sultaness. Eldred, you're awake. Hmm, seems my warping skills are stronger than I thought. I didn't even mean to bring Eldred here. What is going on? One second I'm sleeping outside the fortress, and the next I'm sleeping. Just relax to go back to your snooze, Eldred. So, Damien, tell me what you know of King Eric. I understand he is known as wise and popular ruler among the citizens of Castile. Yes, yes, that is fine and dandy, but what is his stature? No one doubts he's an honorable man and known to be so throughout the land. No, I mean, like, his height. Why do you care about that? Well, trapping me in the statue was all King Eric's doing after all. It was a good move, I must say. I was just wondering if he had found a way to counteract my regal imp spell yet. My mistakes was going first. Whenever you go first, you're at a disadvantage, I think. But he's still child-sized. Perhaps we could up the stakes by transforming him into a little foul play. What do you think, my young Dark Sultan? Wait, Father, you sound like you're making it sound like this is all one big game you two play. This is no game. My stink bomb explosion will be told for generations in Castillo. Poems are written of that day. It was only trumpeted by King Eric's resourcefulness in crafting a nap dragon sized whoopee cushion that. Enough! That's it! That's it! I'm sick and tired of you little boys playing with all of these games. What? What? What is it, my little snuggle muffin? Don't you say snuggle muffin to me! You snuggle with me. I can't believe this is all part of your dumb little prank battle. Do you have any idea what you put me through? My sweet crumbly peanut bear, please remember your blood pressure. You remember my blood pressure because that's all you've had for me from now on. You can't talk to me like that. I am the Dark Sultan. 
Um, actually, you're the former. Damien here is the Dark Sultan. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Butterf him, Butterfly. I think he's going to need some time to get used to that. Lord Damien, perhaps we should go. Are you kidding? They can't tell me what to do now. I'm staying for this. How could you be so careless and such? I thought you were getting better at this. You almost put two lands at war. You know very well how reckless such unnecessary magic can be. What have we taught our own son? Yeah, okay, alright. I was stupid. I'm sorry. Can we just get over this? I need a shower and a cold. I want anything for the kingdom to know what a fool the man I married is. This is quite the example to set for our son on his first day as Dark Sultan. What are we going to tell our friends? Oh, sorry. Apparently, we he's, he was all alive in a statue all this time. Look, my delicate piece of day-old banana bread. You made your point. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. You had better believe you're sorry. Your need to engage in these juvenile acts of trickery nearly destroyed your family. I'm so glad you're no longer Dark Salt and there are going to be some changes in our home. Lady Demona, I believe this way will prove to be for the best now that he is no longer Dark Sultan. Our former lord will no doubt be a much more dedicated father and husband. Is that what you see, Eldred? Oh, how can I trust you? You'd sleep through your own funeral. This is a second chance at reuniting your family and having the family life you wanted. Perhaps now relive I relieved in my service, said your husband, I too can have a second chance. Perhaps I can now be relieved of Dark Mage title. You wish to step down from your position, Eldred? Oh, Dark Salt, if you knew the taunts I endured walking through the streets of Almagique. The children chatted me, Dark Mage, Dark Mage, dirty shorts and overage. Tragic so, my unsweetened bull of Muisal. I swear to you that Eldred has the right of, of things here. About me being a better husband? I don't know what he's talking about with you children chanting at him. Dark Mage, Dark Mage, your beard is long and stinky too. Stinky too. It doesn't even rhyme, so I don't know why that one got so popular. Father, back to this whole regal imp spell you put on King Eric. You may rest easy, Lord Dagman. I do believe the king took a liking to his current stature. Many of the ladies in the court believe his eyes to be cute, or so I'm told. That, lu that lucky son of a gun. What did you just what did you just say? I said, uh, come on, let's get out of here, hon. You know, like let's go and cuddle somewhere. I hate to interrupt all these deep philo philosophical examinations, but has Lord Damien passed the trial or what? Well he would pass him off a lordship, we're not present. Damien needs a space for the needs space for the final violation. I can tell when I'm not wanted. No, it's just you're a bit of an imposing floating figure. You kind of take over a roof, so to speak. There can be only one Dark Soul, I suppose. Father, before you go, I have a favor to ask you. It is something that has been weighing on me, but I will not go against your wish in that matter. I can already read what's in your heart, my son. It's Eric's letter. Blah, blah. Eric's letter. Blah, blah. Eric's letter, correct? Son, you are the Dark Soul in the Valmajig now. I give your decision my blessing. Thank you so much, Father. Well, then, I shall leave you to catch up with Mother. It sounds like you do have plenty to talk over. Are you sure you don't need me for anything else? I mean, I do know quite a bit about this whole Dark... Oh, stop your blubbering. I'm not mad at you anymore. I've said my piece. If I were still mad at you, you wouldn't be floating above the ground. I can tell you that much. Ha <laughs> ha. What's this? Odin has found his laugh? Well, this is quite a special day all around. Dark mage. Dark mage. Oh, I smell like burning sage. That's the other one they always say. Damien, we shall deal with your issues later. Eldred, right now I would like to say something. Opie, butterfly, my first official act is Dark Soul of my Almagica present you with a gift. A gift from the Admiral Service, bravery, and friend friendship you have shown to Almagy. A gift that I don't have on me right now. Meet me outside the gates of Almagy, and we'll finish this up there. Wow.